the present video prepared by the department of veterinary parasitology college of veterinary science guru angad dev veterinary and animal sciences university ludhiana aims to present the morphological characteristics of helmin parasites particularly trematodes and cystodes of veterinary importance for students of veterinary helminthology to help them in identification of the worms helminths or worms are primarily located in the gastrointestinal tract and also bile duct liver pancreatic duct lung central nervous system eyes blood vessels peritoneal cavity oviduct subcutaneous tissue etc and the harm caused by these helminths generally depend upon the site of predilection intensity of the infection virulence of the parasite and host factors helminth parasites can be broadly categorized into three groups the trematodes or the flukes cystodes or the tapeworms and nematodes or the roundworms this three group of worms can be easily differentiated macroscopically based upon their morphological characteristics like the trematode or the flukes are dorsoventrally flat leaf like unsegmented worms whereas the cystodes or the tapeworms are elongate ribbon like flat bodied and segmented worms the nematode or the round worms are typically cylindrical with pointed and tapering ends and has an unsegmented body general characteristics of trematodes of veterinary importance trematodes are dorsoventrally flattened leaf like worms but few like the amphistomes they have thick fleshy body whereas cystosomes are long and worm like the digestive system in flukes is incomplete consists of a mouth surrounded by oral sucker a muscular pharynx esophagus leading into a intestine which is usually divided into two blind cecia but anus is always absent excretory system consists of flame cells branched collecting tubes and a bladder which opens posteriorly reproductive system flukes are hermaphrodite except the cystosomes and the male and female genital organs are present in the same worm life cycle of trematode is indirect snails act as the first intermediate host there are several stages in the life cycle of a trematode like egg which is generally operculate miracidium which is a triangular shaped and the anterior end is broad usually covered with ciliated ectoderm and may also have an anterior spine then sporocyst which is undifferentiated mass of cell which develops inside the snail followed by daughter sporocyst or radia radia has an oral sucker a pharynx a sac like intestine and excretory system and a birth pore through which the cercaria escapes the cercaria usually encysts on or on the in the second intermediate host or on vegetation and forms metacercaria now the morphological characteristics of individual important trematode of animal health importance like dicroselium dendriticum commonly known as lancet liver fluke is located in the bile duct of sheep goat ox pig dog 
even man the first intermediate host is snail of the genus zebrina and sionella and second intermediate host is ants of genus formica there is small flukes around a centimeter long body is elongate narrow anteriorly and widest behind the middle the oral sucker is smaller than the ventral sucker the testes are slightly lobed and tandem in position immediately posterior to the ventral sucker ovary lies directly behind the testes the vitelline glands occupy the middle third of the lateral fields behind the gonads the central field is occupied by transverse coils of uterus which is filled with eggs eggs are brown in color are operculated and embryonated when laid prostogonimus ovatus the ovidical fluke of poultry located in the bursa of fabricius oviduct rarely intestine of domestic fowl and geese the first intermediate host is snail of the genus bythenia or gyrulus and the second intermediate host is nymphal stages of dragon flies this is a small fluke 3 to 6 mm long the ventral sucker is twice as large as the oral sucker and both are present in the anterior one third of the body the genital pore is present next to the oral sucker testes are slightly elongated and horizontal in position present in the mid part of the body ovary is deeply lobed and situated behind the ventral sucker the vitelline glands lie in grape like bunches in the lateral fields opisthorcus tinicollis present in the bile duct rarely the intestine and the pancreatic duct of dog cat pig and even man the first intermediate host is snail of the genus bythenia and second intermediate host is fish these are small to medium sized flukes around a centimeter long the intestinal cecum extends almost to the posterior end the testes are lobed slightly diagonal and situated in the posterior half of the body the excretory bladder passes between the testes ovary is small and lies in the midline anterior to the testes the vitelline glands occupy middle third of the lateral fields fasciola hepatica the liver fluke present in the bile duct gall bladder and liver of sheep goat cattle and rarely man intermediate host is limnia truncatula it has a broad leaf like body grayish brown in color with spiny tegument the anterior end possesses a well marked cephalic cone followed by a pair of well developed shoulders ventral sucker is situated at the level of the shoulders the cecum is branched laterally and the medial side is simple testes are branched tandem in position ovary is also branched and is pretesticular it is slightly smaller in size than fasciola gigantica fasciola gigantica liver fluke present in the bile duct gall bladder and liver of cattle sheep goat buffaloes and even man intermediate host is limnia auricularia it is larger in size as compared to fasciola hepatica it is comparatively elongated in shape particularly the posterior part of the body anterior end possesses a smaller cephalic cone and shoulders are absent body is more transparent than fasciola hepatica 
the intestinal cecum is branched laterally as well as medially eggs are golden brown operculated and unembryonated when laid fasciolopsis buskai the giant intestinal fluke present in the small intestine of man and pig the first intermediate host is snail planorbis and segmentina these are large thick fluke without shoulder the oral sucker is smaller than the ventral sucker and they are present in the anterior one third of the body intestinal cecum are simple and reach up to the posterior end testes are branched and tandem in position ovary is also branched and lies anterior to testis vital area occupy the lateral fields paragonimus westermanii the lung fluke present in the lungs of pig dog cat cattle and wild carnivores the intermediate host is snail of genus milania and ampullaria the adult flukes are present in pairs in the cysts present in the lungs the parasite is reddish brown in color and measures around 1 and 1/2 cm long the integument is spiny the ventral sucker is situated slightly anterior to the middle then family par amphistomatidae the amphistomes these are thick and circular in transverse section the ventral sucker is situated at or close to the posterior end and is many a times is strongly developed egg is oval in shape whitish to transparent in color except gigantocotyle explanatum which is yellowish like fasciola has a distinct operculum and a knob like thickening at the broader end paramphistomum cervi present in the rumen of sheep goat cattle and buffalo intermediate host is snail indoplanorbis a medium sized fluke body is elongate conical and curved ventrally ventral sucker is subterminal intestinal cecum has seven nearly identical bands testes are tandem in position oval or spherical in shape and deeply lobed ovary is posttesticular and the genital pore is situated behind the middle of the intestinal bifurcation gigantocotyle explanatum present in the bile duct gall bladder rarely duodenum of buffalo cattle also sheep and goat intermediate host is snail gyrulus body is conical and curved ventrally ventral sucker is ventroterminal and is very large in size the intestinal cecum has four shallow bands testes are diagonal ovary is oval and posttesticular uterus is in the median field white line glands are strongly developed and present in the lateral fields gastrothylax rumenifer present in the rumen of cattle and buffalo intermediate host is snail of the genus gyrulus body is cylindrical and curved ventrally typically banana shaped the ventral sucker or the acetabulum is terminal intestinal cecum is long and wavy reaching up to the anterior border of testis testes are lobed and horizontal in position ovary is oval and a very large ventral pouch opening anteriorly 
and extending over the whole ventral surface up to the posterior sucker is present. Gastrodiscus aegyptiacus present in the small and large intestine of equines and pig. Intermediate host is snail of genus Planorbis and Segmentina. It is a medium sized fluke 1 to 2 cm long. The body of this fluke is divided into two parts anterior cylindrical and posterior saucer shaped. The ventral sucker is small and subterminal. The oral sucker has two posterior lateral pouches. The intestine branches at the anterior border of the posterior portion and cica continues near the hind end of the body. Test is slightly diagonal in and lobed. Ovary is post-testicular and the vital area occupy the lateral fields. Gastrodiscoid is hominis, present in the cecum and colon of man and pig. Intermediate host is snail of genus Helicorbis. Body is divided into two portions, anterior pyriform and posterior saucer shaped. Oral pouches are present. Ventral sucker is terminal. Testis is lobed and tandem in position. Family Cystosomatidae, the blood flukes, they are elongate, unisexual and dimorphic trematodes present in the blood vessels. The female is slender, usually longer than the males and are carried in the gynecophoric canal of males. Suckers are weak or may be absent. The intestinal branches usually unite to form a single tube which extends to the hind end. Test is vary in number. Ovary is an elongate compact organ and the vitaline gland is present in the posterior part. Cystosoma bovis present in the portal and mesentric vein of cattle, sheep, goat, equines and camel. Intermediate host is snail of genus Bullinus. The males are 1 to 2 cm long and the females are 2 to 3 cm long. The intestine bifurcates at the level of ventral sucker and reunites in the female just behind the middle of the body and sometimes farther back being continued as a single cecum. In males, the cica may reunite far back. Male has three to six testes situated behind the ventral sucker. Eggs are non-operculated, spindle-shaped with terminal spine and have a ciliated miracidium when laid. Cystosoma spindle present in the mesenteric vein of ruminants and dogs, snails of genus Planorbis, Indoplanorbis, and Limnia act as the intermediate host. Adults measure around 1 to 1.5 cm in length. Eggs are typically Napoleon hat shaped with the terminal spine. Cystosoma nasalis present in the veins of nasal mucosa of buffalo, cattle, also sheep and goat. Snails of genus Endoplanorbis act as the intermediate host. It closely resembles Cystosoma spindle and the adult is around a centimeter long. Eggs are large in size and typically boomerang shaped. The second group of helminths include the cystodes or the tapeworms. Tapeworms are hermaphrodite endoparasitic worms with elongate flat body which is without a body cavity and also elementary canal is absent. The body of a tapeworm 
कंसिस्ट ऑफ हेड और इस कॉलेक्स नेक एंड स्ट्रॉबेला विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेगमेंट्स और प्रोग्लॉटिट्स ईच कंटेनिंग वन टू टू सेट्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स द इस कॉलेक्स इज यूजली ग्लोबुलर एंड इन यूस स्टूडेंट इट हैज फोर सकर्स विच मे बी आर्म्ड विद हुक्स एंड अ रॉस्टेलम इज ऑफन प्रेजेंट वेर एज इन कोटाइलोडा अ लॉन्ग नैरो वीकली मस्कुलर ग्रूव कॉल्ड एज बॉथ्रिया इज प्रेजेंट विच एक्ट एज द होल्ड फास्ट ऑर्गन द प्रोग्लॉटिड्स आर फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द नेक इन केस ऑफ यूसिस्टोडा and they mature as they are pushed away from the scolex the posterior proglottids when fully mature are packed with eggs and are called as gravid segments the excretory system of cystodes is a nephridial system with flame cells and the reproductive system it has one to two sets of reproductive organs in each mature proglottid the life cycle of cystodes or the tapeworms is indirect and requires the development of larval stages also called as the metacystodes in one or more intermediate hosts the common form of metacystodes or the larval stages of cystodes of domestic animals prosarcoid which is a solid bodied and it bears hooks on the sarcomeres in the posterior region it is present in the first intermediate host or the copepods in diphylobothrium latum then plerosarcoid this stage follows the prosarcoid and it is present in the second intermediate host of diphylobothrium latum plerosarcoid they are generally elongate solid bodied metacystodes which bears an adult scolex tetrathyridium an elongate solid bodied metacystode with a deeply invaginated acetabular scolex like it is seen in mesocystoides cystisarcoid a metacystode with a single non invaginated scolex which is withdrawn into a small vesicle which has no cavity like in dipylidium caninum cysticercus a single scolex invaginated into itself in a large fluid containing vesicle or bladder like it is seen in tinea sagginata strobilocercus a single scolex which is not invaginated when fully developed rather it is attached to the bladder by a long segmented neck or strobula like tinea pisiformis senurus a large fluid containing semi transparent bladder with a number of invaginated scolices attached to the wall like in the larval stage of tinea multiceps hydrated or hydrated cyst a large thick walled fluid containing bladder from which other cysts called brood capsules develop in which the scolexes develop example echinococcus granulosus now we'll talk about the morphological identification of the important tape worms of uh, veterinary importance the first order includes anoplocephalidia in this the scolex has neither rostellum nor hooks and the uterus may be replaced by egg capsule or parauterine organs the first family of this order is anoplocephalidia in this the uterus persists as a transverse tube or network of tubes the first parasite of this family is anoplocephala perfoliata generally present in the small and large intestine of equines 
The adults are small, up to five centimeter long. The scolex is provided with leopard behind each sucker. The mature proglottid has single set of reproductive organs, and the gravid uterus is transverse, sac-like, and lobed. Anoplocephala magna, present in the small intestine, particularly jejunum of equines. This is a large tapeworm, around 80 cm in length. The scolex is also large, but the lapids are absent. Paranoflocephala mammillana, present in the small intestine of horses. It is a small, around 5 cm long and the scolex is narrow and the openings of the suckers are slit-like, situated dorsally and ventrally, but lapids are absent. Genus Munizia, Munizia expensa. Munizia expensa, present in the small intestine of sheep, goat, cattle and other ruminants. This is a large tapeworm around 6 meter in length and around 1.6 meter wide. The scolex has prominent suckers but the rostellum and hooks are absent. Proglottids are broad, each having two sets of genital organs with marginal genital pores. At the posterior end of each proglottid, there is a row of rosette-like interproglottidal glands which are present across the entire width of the proglottid. Eggs of Munizia expensa are triangular in shape, containing well-developed pyriform apparatus. Munizia benedini, present in the small intestine of ruminants, mainly cattle. It is similar in size to Munizia expensa, but the proglottids are more wide, up to 2.6 cm. And the interproglottidal glands, they are arranged in short, continuous rows close to the midline of the segment. Eggs of Munizia benedini are typically rectangular in shape. The next family is family Thysanosomidae. The gravid uterus is replaced by par uterine organ, A. vitellina centripunctata. This is present in the small intestine of sheep and other ruminants. Adults are large up to 3 meter in length and are about 3 millimeter wide. The proglottids are short. Each segment has one set of reproductive organ and the genital pores alternate irregularly. The uterus is present in the middle portion of the proglottid and eggs pass into thick-walled pariuterine organ in which they lie in a capsule. The uterus and the pariuterine organs appear as an opaque line in the medial portion of the proglottid. Stylacea globipunctata present in the small intestine of sheep, goat, cattle and other ruminants. Adults are medium sized, 45 to 60 cm long. The genital organs are single and genital pores alternate irregularly. The uterus is long, transverse and dumbbell shaped. The eggs pass into two pariuterine organs each containing approximately 30 eggs. The eggs are ovoid and without pyriform apparatus. Thysanosoma actinoides, the fringe tapeworm, generally present in the bile duct, pancreatic duct and small intestine of sheep, cattle and also deer. This is a medium sized tapeworm, 15 to 30 centimeter long. The segments are short and fringed posteriorly. Two sets of reproductive organs are present in each mature proglottid and the testes are generally present in the median fields. 
the uterus is a single undulating tube and X then pass into several par uterine organs. Order Devenidia. It contains small to medium sized tapeworms of birds. They have a rostellum with hammer shaped hooks and the suckers are also armed. The genital organs are single and uterus is replaced by a capsule. Family Devenidi, genus Devenia, Devenia proglottina, the most pathogenic tapeworm of poultry, present in the duodenum of fowl, pigeon and other birds. The adult worms are microscopic, up to 3 mm long and generally have 4 to 9 proglottids only. The rostellum and suckers are armed. The genital pores alternate regularly. The eggs are placed singly in parenchymatous capsule in the gravid proglottid. Genus Relatina, Relatina tetragona. This is present in the small intestine of chicken, pigeon and other birds. This is the largest tapeworm of birds and can reach up to 25 cm in length. The suckers are oval and armed. Rostellum has one to two rows of hooks. The genital pore are usually unilateral and eggs are found in egg capsules. Relatina echinobothridia present in the small intestine of chicken and turkey. The shape and size resembles with Relatina tetragona, but the rostellum is more heavily armed with two rows of hooks. The scolex is circular in outline and is also armed. Relatina cesticillus present in the small intestine of poultry birds. This is a small tapeworm up to 4 cm, rarely reaches 15 cm length. It has a large scolex with armed rostellum having around 400 to 500 small hooks. But the suckers are inconspicuous and unarmed. Genus Cotogonia. It has two sets of reproductive organs in each proglottids. Cotogonia digonopora present in the small intestine of fowl. A small tapeworm around 10 cm in length and has two sets of reproductive organs in each proglottid. The rostellum bears two rows of small hooks and the suckers are unarmed. Order Dilepididia. In this order, the suckers and rostellum is armed. Reproductive organs are either single or it may be double. Family Dilepididi. In this family, the gravid uterus persists as a transverse sac. Genus Amoebotenia, Amoebotenia cuneata, which is present in the small intestine of domestic fowl. A very small tapeworm, hardly 4 mm long and roughly triangular in shape. The rostellum is armed, genital pores usually alternate irregularly at the extreme anterior end of proglottid margin. The uterus is sac-like and slightly lobed. Family Dipylididi. The gravid uterus is replaced by egg capsule having one or more eggs. Genus Dipylidium, Dipylidium caninum, present in the small intestine of dog cat, fox and one of the most common tapeworms. It is around 50 cm long. The retractable rostellum has 3 to 4 rows of rose thorn shaped hooks. Each proglottid contains two sets of genital organs. The ovary and the vitaline glands form a mass on either side which resembles a bunch of grapes. Eggs lie in a capsule 
and the gravid proglottids have a characteristic elongate oval shape resembling cucumber seeds order hymenolepididia are a small to medium sized tapeworms having unarmed suckers and an armed rostellum family hymenolepididi genus hymenolepis hymenolepis nana the dwarf tapeworm present in the small intestine of rodents primates and man adults are small just 2 to 4 cm long egg is oval and the oncosphere possesses three pairs of hooks order tinidia the rostellum is armed with two rows of hooks has large number of testes and ovary is present in the posterior half of the proglottid uterus is generally branched family tinidi genus tinia tinia sagignata the adult is present in the intestine of man and the larval stages or the cysticercus bovis is present in the musculature of cattle the adult worm is long up to 8 meters in length the scolex has four armed suckers but rostellum is absent in mature segment ovary is bilobed vaginal sphincter muscle is present and the serous pouch does not extend up to the excretory vessels in the gravid segment the uterus has 14 to 32 lateral branches and it does not leave the host spontaneously tinea solium definitive host is man present in the small intestine of man whereas the larval stages that is cysticercus cellulosi is present in the muscles of pig also man the adult is long generally 3 to 5 meter long up to 8 meters long the scolex bears a rostellum which has two rows of hooks in mature segment the ovary is trilobed the serous pouch extends up to the excretory vessel but the vaginal sphincter muscle is absent the gravid proglottid contains around 40000 eggs in 7 to 16 lateral branches of uterus which do not leave the host spontaneously tinea tiniformis present in the small intestine of cat and other carnivores the intermediate host are rodents adults can be up to 60 cm long and they have bell shaped posterior proglottids the scolex bears two rows of rostellar hooks which are generally large in size and the uterus has around 5 to 9 lateral branches echinococcus granulosus present in the small intestine of dogs The metacystodal stage is hydrated cyst present in all ungulates even man. The adult parasite is small hardly 2 to 7 mm long and usually has 3 to 4 proglottids only. The penultimate proglottid is always a mature and the terminal proglottid is gravid proglottid which is usually about half the length of the worm the rostellum has two rows of hooks the ovary is kidney shaped the genital pore alternate irregularly and normally opens in the posterior half of the mature and gravid proglottid the uterus of the gravid proglottid has well developed diverticula
to watch more educational videos on veterinary and animal sciences subscribe the channel and please touch the bell icon guru angad dev veterinary and animal sciences university ludhiana on youtube